Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime where I post about products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in-depth skincare reviews for which the link will be down below. In this video we're going to be discussing products from the brand Aveeno. I actually picked this up from my local Boots, which is a pharmacy here in the UK. And the reason why it really spoke to me is because the range, it's the Calm and Restore range, focuses on sensitive skins. All these products are fragrance and essential oil free. They're aimed towards sensitive and sensitized skins. And if you'd like to support the channel, then there's a link to my Patreon page in the description bar. Now, let's get on with the video. The range is basically like one full skincare routine, as it includes a cleanser, toner, serum, and moisturizer. If you want to add an eye product, especially if you have dry sensitive skin, then I would recommend the Indeed Labs Isolix, which also provides well aging care. My full review is linked down below. Or the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Eye Cream, which I've also been trialing and it's lovely. What these products have in common, and what is a common thread with Aveeno, is that they contain oat powder. The proper name is Avena Sativa Kernel, which I think you can guess where Aveeno got their name from. The prebiotic oat used is meant to encourage healthy bacteria growth on the skin, thus reinforcing the skin's barrier and reducing the chance of inflammation. The reason why Aveeno uses oat is because it has soothing and anti-inflammatory properties, which is perfect for irritated and sensitized skin. It also provides some moisture, which is why these products are positioned more towards dry skins. However, I would say that at least combination skins could also use these products. First up is the Nourishing Oat Cleanser. This is a non-foaming, almost jelly-like cleanser that aims to remove dirt and oil from the skin while keeping it soothed, hydrated and nourished and not stripping the skin of important skin oils and hydration. This can be used twice daily, both in the AM and PM. You're supposed to apply one to two pumps of this onto wet skin, washing off the product with lukewarm water, and in case the skin is sensitized, pat dry without rubbing. Key ingredients include the aforementioned oat flour, which is soothing, and a skin protecting antioxidant. Other ingredients include chrysanthemum parthenium flour, leaf, and stem juice, which is also soothing. Glycerin, pentaline and butylene glycol are included moisturizers and humectants. The texture of this is very similar to the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker, which I reviewed in a previous video link below. It has that jelly consistency and easily spreads along the skin. It almost feels like a cream. I think this would be a gentle AM cleanser just to remove light dirt and oil from the night before, and I would especially recommend this for those who have sensitized and irritated skin. I also appreciate that this does not dry out the skin. It definitely keeps moisture within the skin, and after cleansing, it doesn't feel tight and have a squeaky clean feeling. I think overall dry skins would prefer this over oily skins. I have skin that gets easily dehydrated, so this kind of gentle cleanser really works for me. But I do think those with oily skins may prefer something more like the Jelly Joker that is still gentle but cleanses a bit more efficiently. When water is applied, this does not foam up or really even emulsify. It just sort of comes on and off, but this can dissolve SPF. I personally wouldn't use this as a first cleanse to dissolve makeup, but it could be a sufficient second cleanser in a double cleanse. I think this cleanser is lovely, I think it's really soothing, it's not drying, it doesn't strip the skin and make my skin feel very tight. And a really good dupe for this is actually the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, as that's also like a cream cleanser on the skin, similar to this. So if you can't find this in your country, then the CeraVe would be a good dupe. Next up is the Soothing Oat Toning Lotion. Now this is a hybrid hydrating toner and lotion aimed to help prepare the skin for the next steps of skincare by leveling out the skin's pH and hydrating it. 
You can apply this with the fingertips or use a cotton pad, swiping to remove excess makeup, residue, dirt and oil. The key ingredient in here is oat flour which is soothing, as well as chrysanthemum juice or feverfew, which provides an antioxidant protection and also helps soothe the skin. In terms of the texture, it is actually very similar to the cleanser, with that almost jelly feeling. However, it is runnier and has a more watery consistency. It simply slides down the hand. But make no mistake, this is quite a thick toner, hence why Aveeno have called it a toning lotion hybrid. This definitely does hydrate the skin, and it forms a sort of film on top of the skin to prevent transepidermal water loss. When it dries down, it almost has that sort of tightening feeling on the skin, as a film is forming on top of the skin. However, once it's dried down, be careful not to rub the skin, as it might cause this product to ball up. It doesn't have a sticky finish, but it does feel slightly tacky, and does require a moisturiser on top. In terms of the scent, like the cleanser, this has a faint oat smell. It's almost vanilla-like. I do think dry skins would prefer this over oily skins. It's hard to include a dupe as this does have a unique texture, but if you're looking for a toner with oat, then the First Aid Beauty Wild Oat Toner is a good sister. However, I would not recommend that specific toner to sensitise skins due to the inclusion of hyaluronic acid. I actually had a lot of layering issues with this particular product. As you can see, I've kind of, I've been getting through it. It really doesn't layer well, especially if I'm mixing and matching with other products from other brands. It's been quite tricky layering this properly. It kind of tends to ball up as soon as it dries down on the skin. I think it's because of the starch. It's just a bit of a shame because I like the function of this product and I do find it like hydrating. It feels really nice and soothing on the skin, especially if the skin is irritated and red, but unfortunately it just doesn't layer that well. Next up is the Triple Oat Serum. Serums are meant to be more concentrated, so this contains three types of oat extracts, aka an oat complex, to help calm down inflamed skin. This also includes Feverfew, which contains antioxidants, just to add another layer of protection for the skin against environmental stresses. The texture of this is slightly thicker than the toner. In terms of the scent, this has a simple oat-like scent just like the toner and the cleanser. This serum is designed to both smooth, soothe and fortify the skin's moisture barrier. This is lightweight and actually pretty fast absorbing. The finish is lightweight and not greasy or oily. I think all skin types could use this. My combination skin enjoys this whatever season. I believe they actually changed the packaging for this because it was a dropper initially. This packaging I think is much better and much more easy to use. Last but not least is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturiser. This moisturiser, aimed at sensitive skins, can be used both in the AM and PM. It's meant to restore and promote the skin's barrier, containing oat flour and extract, as well as calming feverfew flour, leaf and stem juice. This cream aims to both nourish the skin while providing moisture and reducing inflammation. In terms of the texture, this product has some silicone in there, which gives this a lightweight, almost pudding-like texture, and does not feel heavy on the skin and is easy to massage and spread around, yet it still has some weight to it. Nonetheless, the skin still feels like it can breathe and you can feel that soothing sensation while massaging this in. It is more moisturising than it is hydrating on the skin, but paired with the hydrating serum underneath, it's a great duo of hydration and moisture. I would say with this cream however, don't rub the skin after applying just to avoid any possible potential balling up. Overall, I do think this gel cream is great and all skin types could use it, especially sensitive and sensitised skins. I do think dry skins would prefer this over oily skins, but my combination skin loves this in the winter. A good dupe would be the Crave Oat So Simple Water Cream, which also contains oat and is great for sensitised skins. My full review with swatches is linked below. And here you can see the textures of all four products.
The whole range is aimed at normal to dry skins, but I definitely think that oily skins could use the serum and the cleanser. And I do think that combination skins could easily use the moisturizer. The serum is really lovely, I'd highly recommend that, and the moisturizer is really lovely as well. I do think in terms of layering and sitting together, they actually work better together. I think if you start mixing and matching these kinds of products with products from other brands, that's when layering issues can occur. Of course it doesn't apply with the cleanser, but I think in terms of especially the toner, like the toning lotion works really well with the other products, but if I start switching it up with other products from other brands, that's when I start to get the balling up and pilling. I think Overall, this range is really moisturizing, hydrating, and just so good for if the skin is irritated or sensitized. I like to use it when my skin is really irritated from heavy retinol use, but I think those who shave their face would really enjoy products like this. They're very simple and basic. They're not going to change your skin, but they will help restore and just soothe and calm down the skin, which I think is very nice. So that's my review of the products. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe today, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!